Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you guys how to use Movavi Clips, which is a super easy to use video editor, which you can use to edit YouTube videos or vlogs, or you can use it for Instagram stories and Instagram posts. There is also a premium version that I wanted to mention that you guys can get more stickers and more music that I'll mention later on in the video, but I just wanted to let you guys know for now. But without further ado, let's just get into this tutorial. So the first step for making your movie is to add your photos and videos. So in the bottom part of the screen, you'll see a plus button where you can go and add your video or your photo. So you can just click on one of those buttons depending on what you want to add. And then you can just select whatever clips you want from your camera roll and have it. The next step is to split clip. So what I'm going to do is line up this white bar that you guys can see with where I want it to split and then I'm just going to click the scissors button and I have my two different clips. To delete a clip, what you're going to do is click on the clip that you don't want and on this right bar here, scroll all the way to the right and click the delete button. One of the next effects that you guys can do is you can rotate it by just clicking on the rotate button and it will allow you to rotate it. You can also change the aspect ratio, which means you can change it to format for Instagram videos, Instagram stories, a vertical video, or a widescreen video for YouTube. Another effect, you can add stickers, which is pretty cool, by going and clicking the stickers button and it shows you a bunch of different free options. But if you want to upgrade to premium, what you guys can do is just go to the little shopping bag with the money sign on it and then click on that and you guys can see there are a bunch of free uh, stickers that you guys can use. One of the next things that you guys can do is actually add text. So you're just going to click on the text button and then it says add text. Click on that and type in whatever you want it to say. I'm going to type in iEditingX since that is the name of my channel. Now it will give you the option to choose a font so you guys can just scroll right through it and choose which one you want. I There are a bunch of different options but I went with Gagolin Regular, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then you can just click and drag it on the actual video to decide where you want it. Another thing is you guys can choose if you want it for the entirety of the video or on just the clip by turning this button on and off. I decided to go with just this clip and then another option is if you guys want it to line up perfectly with part of your screen, you can choose an actual text position. So you guys can choose in the center or in the bottom or the left or the right, whatever you guys want. But that's if you just don't want to like play around and have to guess with it. Another option for your text is you can actually change the colors. You can make it orange, yellow, blue, pink, white whatever color you want, but I thought the white looked best with what the video I was was making. And then when you're done, just click the check mark and you have your text. The next effect that you guys can do is to crop your video. So you'll just click on the crop button and you use your two fingers to zoom in or zoom out depending on how you want to crop it. And so that's how you easily do that. And you guys can also change where you crop it. next step is you guys can change the speed of your video. You can make it up to four times faster or you can make it one eighth of the original speed. I'm just going to go with the normal speed, but once you decide, just click apply. Another option that you guys can do is you can actually add filters, change the saturation and the brightness of your video. So if filters aren't your style, you can always just go to this adjust adjustments button right here. And when you click on that, you have the option to make your clip brighter, or you can also change the saturation so it is more colorful or less colorful depending on what you guys want, and then click the check mark when you're done. Uh, another option that you guys can have is to add transitions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and split the clip using the scissors button, and then you guys click on the transitions button and this menu will appear. So you guys can just slide to the right and to the left until the transition you want is highlighted or has a lot of color and then click apply and you guys can see the transition in action on your video. So this is what this ripple transition looks like. If you 
want to duplicate your clip, just click on the clip you want and then click the duplicate button, which is right here, and you'll have the same clip twice. And finally, the last option for you guys is to actually add the music. So in order to add music, what you're going to want to do is go to the audio button, which is all the way on the left of this bar. And then you, what it will do is open up this menu and you can choose music from iTunes or you can choose music that they have available to you. Now there is a premium upgrade that you guys can upgrade to to get more music, but if you don't, there are still a bunch of free options. So all you have to do is click on the play button to hear the song and then click select once it's highlighted and this will just put it over the video that you have. So there are also options for you guys if you don't want your video volume showing through. So if there's background noise, you can turn that all the way down and turn the music up. Or if you want the music to be kind of low, you can just turn it down a little bit so that your video and your music are playing at like a volume that complements both of them. And then if you do make a mistake, there is an undo button for it. So finally, once you have your video how you like it, just go to this top right corner with the arrow button, click on it, and then you can click save to your camera roll. You guys can also share this on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media site you want. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and that it helps. And if you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.